Hello everybody, Togali, and welcome back to another episode of Continuum. So I just uh, empowered another diamond, uh, diamond team over here, and it was seconds. It, it took less than 30 seconds to do that, and it didn't even drain these disciplines then. I think this one was down to 56,000. So that means that takes, what, uh, 24,000 RF on each one of them to power that. So I was very surprised with that. Um, and I want to kind of get into um, the Steam over here for the EFAP stuff because I need to... Let me check here real quick. I needed that for... Uh, what was it again? Right here, yes. To make this big tank. Um, it's, it's, it's part of a quest, but I also want to use it over here to fill all the cradle seat coming from that guy right there because you guys see right here i've been t taking the drum filling it over here bringing it over here and pouring it into this tank i could just move the tank but it doesn't really matter because i want to make more cold coke oh i can actually take these 20 to keep this going because i'm gonna need a lot of steel right for the crusher and whatnot that we want to get to and i want to use cold coke because using charcoal on this is just going to be even more work and I don't want to waste the cryo seed yet because I need so much treated wood to finish these um, water wheels right here. You guys see, this is a lot of treated wood. So I've been using all the cryo seed we had and I need to get, what is that? 13 more uh, planks and then I have all the water wheel segments. Um, we still need to, what, what was in here in the middle? I forgot now. Um, what is this called? Kinetic? I forgot now what goes there. High voltage cold block. Yes, we need steel and I need the aluminum. And I did get the aluminum. I got a bunch of that. Man, I got so much to show you. I really didn't play that much, but it was quite fast because I did a lot, a lot of mining. Um, and I wanted to show you guys this. You guys see this here? This is an unbreakable cobalt pickaxe now. This was a stone head with a blue slime handle and a paper binding okay and then once it was unbreakable i replaced the head with cobalt to get the faster um uh, mining and let me show you guys here real quick um home excavate excavate that's oh, that just named it i'm a little bit ways away from the base because i didn't want to make a mess here the base is here and i went into this weird biome whatever this is called the crack cl cliffs yeah that's what it's called and i just went nuts over here as you guys can see i i uh vein mined everywhere now i have to tell you guys that i changed a setting on the excavate because it really it it upset me i'm gonna put this in very nice terms so i changed my my uh vein mining or or excavating a uh, config to just be default so when i hold down a key and i break something it vein mines okay i don't see this is just a uh, an artificial making you play slower okay and you need to mine so much in this pack that i i hope you guys understand and don't have a problem with that and if you do i'm sorry but i'm not gonna change it back because again this is garbage um, i i spent a lot of time mining leveling the thing up and then not to be able to actually vein mine anything but the ores. What's the point if I can vein mine stone fast, right? And on top of that, you pay a lot of food as a as a cost for it, right? You you spend a lot of food. I the amount of food I made was crazy. And then after this, I went down to here as well. Now, which way did I go? It's right here, I think. Yes. Check it out. And I also went down here once it was actually fully leveled. And then I started vein mining down here as well and got myself more diamonds. Ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme. So I'm very happy we got this now. So mining is not going to be such a pain in the butt anymore. I don't mind taking the coal and so on. But you guys see again, boom, down with the food. So this brings me to my next thing. We get started crafting in a second. There's one more thing I wanted to show you. Let me just put this away for a second. Oh yeah, the 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 <laughs> the cobble's full, so I started speed. Huh, something I ate. Then I started uh, f uh, compressing the cobble when I was out and about, and now I just been destroying the cobble. I don't know where to put it. It's it's I don't need it right now. Getting cobble shouldn't be a big problem. Let's put this away. And I've been also trying to double as much as I can. You guys see, we have thirty six aluminum now, and I'll get to that in a minute. But so, the food was a big problem with all the vein mining, right? Oh, by the way, the other pickaxe is in here. I 
don't use that anymore now because I have this one. So the food was a big problem, right? And then I looked through, I just typed in food. I remember that, okay? And then I found these foods right here. And you guys see right here, this yellow tooltip. I stumbled across that. I'm like, oh my God, that is awesome. Top tier food, always edible. So when I read that, I'm like, always edible. To me, that, that meant that, hey, um, Spice of Life doesn't care about it, right? You don't get punished for it. Well, no. So I set up this process over here of making this stuff here. The Southern style breakfast. I plant this all out, laid it all out, how to get this, you know, all the different steps. Let me just show you. You see, make a flour, then I put it in here. I have a furnace in there and it makes me a bread. There we go. I can, I'm always leaving the last one here. This is how you make butter. So I don't use up the last item that's in here, right? So, so now that's, I got toast Then I come over here and I get some chicken stock. Then I need a, I think another two of these come back over here, put one there, put one here. So I make a gravy and then I make a dough and put that here. I need another butter from there. You see, it's I laid it all out so I can make this stuff easy when I'm running out of it. And then I come down here. I put the... Oh, I already had some there. Okay, then I take a biscuit and gravy. And then I come up here where I take flour, soy milk, salt, and water and make grits. And I can put the grits here, that there, the toast here. And then if I get pork chops, I cook them here and put them here. And that makes me the southern style breakfast, right? And I ate it three times and it's down to 43.05. So that was... Unfortunately, not what I expected there to be, right? You guys see I have nine of them left now. So that's kind of a bummer that that food still counts to spice of life, right? But anyway, so, um, and then I wanted to point out one more thing because I was gonna just use the ground trap. There's this bait you can make, I found out, which is quite simple. It just takes some um, lettuce or whatever I put here with string around it. It makes you the veggie bait. And when you check the veggie bait, it's supposed to give you pork chop, which is the only bait that gives you pork chop out of the ground trap. But I've gotten very little of it. Let's see if there's any right now. Yeah, just one. You see that? Out of all that. And that's what I need for that. So I made a little bit of a, a pig pen over here to speed this up. And I just feed them every once in a while. And when I have about twice as many, I killed them. That's all. Getting my pork chops. Anyway. Um, let me just harvest this here for a second. So the mining is under control now. I think it should last us for a while. I mean, eventually we need, you know, much more than I can mine by hand. But for now, at least um, it, it works. Okay, so in order to make the, the steel right here that I need, right? These blocks right here, the steel sheet metal. I need to make these right there in the EFAB grip and it shows steam. Okay, so I um, don't know how this works exactly, but I got the parts ready over here. It says when you hover over it that you need the, the boiler, a steam engine, and a tank, and then a heat source underneath it. That's how you make the boiler, and here is the engine. That's what I needed, that empowered diamantine. There's the other eight right there. So we got this, and then I'm going to use for now... Did I get it all? Okay. I'm going to use this tank right here, okay? Because the big tank that I'm making is the one I want for cryo seat. So now let me see here. I'm, I'm hoping that I can share a pipe. So we're going to use this tank for right now and put that here, right? So I'm hoping that it will connect instead of having another one. And then I guess right here, we're going to put our heat source. I... I have, again, no idea how this works. So we'll figure it out here in a second. So now this one says it needs the heat source below. Bam. Oh, so this one is actually for water. I'm guessing. Hopefully this cannot explode. Okay, so we got the steam engine there temperature okay so i'm gonna probably have to get some water in this tank here and let's see hmm okay these don't have a gooey 
It's not using any of this water. Can I put water directly? <laughs> okay, no, don't do that again. I think that torch goes here. F7. Uh, about here. Okay, good. So I'm not sure how this works here. This is temperature 200. Hmm. Well, let's see if it works. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe that's all it needs. Maybe it's not going to use the water until it actually goes. So let's get four of these. I need four. No, I'm going to need eight, but let's just do four here. I, I made the gear press, by the way, so I don't need to use the, the smeltery for all of this. It's easier because then I can just make ingots out of everything and can come up here and make the 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 plates or the gears easier this way. So let me get these done real quick. And by the way, this works so... Ooh, check this out. I didn't even know there was yellow X's up there. This engine here is amazing. It, it worked so well so far. All right, so... Usage, so like that. Yeah, I'm gonna need four more. So start. Okay, so cool, check it out. It's working. So did it use, oh, it used all of this water. Okay, well, which is fine. So now the next thing is, and you guys gave me a really good tip, is a couple of people replied to that on both the video and on Twitter, um, that I should make the um, actually additions lasers okay and i keep forgetting about them i know because usually there is an easier way of doing things but i think in this pack we're actually going to rely on them quite a bit okay so i'm i'm making four of these energy lasers which is for one recipe i might even use these for power in our base um because i'm not a big fan of the immersive engineering wires because you get zapped by them and it's annoying right and these right there might actually work really good for us and then you also need the laser wrench and I'm going to need four of the fluid ones. So I think you toss them here, laser them. Yep, there we go. Now they're the fluid type. So we're going to have one set up from here to that new cryo seed tank that we're going to put here. And then I'm thinking of, I actually want more because I really would like this to be routed nice. But for right now, just so it works, we're going to put one right here. And I don't want it touching here. Because then when the lava is empty, it's going to use this here. Yeah. Okay, so let's put it there for right now. And then I think all we're going to do is... Stored. Bam. And then it should suck the water out. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It does say something here in the book I read. Note, when they are toggled to only out of adjacent blocks mode, they will actively pull fluid out of containers around them. So do I do that with this wrench? Fluid flown both directions. No, hold a compass, a compass to modify. Okay, um, compass. I think four iron. Okay. Let's go ahead and make one. Weird tool. <laughs> okay, here we go. Only into adjacent blocks. That's what it told me to set it to, right? No. Only out of adjacent blocks. There we go, full, 16 buckets of water. So this one here says in both directions. So I think I'm gonna change this one to only into adjacent blocks. So it goes from here into there. And again, I'll, I'll spend a few minutes later and make more of these and so I can run it up and over and down. So this looks a little bit nicer, right? Um, but now that I have two of these, let me make the other two, uh, the other four, sorry. And then we can make that big tank and set up the cryo seat as well which would be super cool and because then i can finish off the the treated wood stuff so we can uh place the water wheels all right i decided to do 
to make another pipe. Just because this is gonna allow me to... I hope that I don't need to have this connected directly. I gotta click the floor so they look the same. And I cannot put it in the ground because I got these two speed upgrades there. So for right now, I'm going to put it there just so I can actually place these on top and not need to worry about um, them connecting to something next to it. So I hope it will still work. And then I think instead of going really crazy here, we're just going to come to like there and then over. I think that's going to look good. And then from here up to about there. Okay. So let's see if we can connect this to there and then that to that. Okay, so now we got this set up and I do need to set this one here to into and this one out of. And we got creosine. Nice. So it's pumping this out of the cook oven directly into here. And then we'll do the same with this. To there and there to there and set this one as well into adjacent blocks. This guy can go both directions. It doesn't really matter. See, I can live with that. It's not the prettiest, the blue lasers, but hey, it's it's out of the way. I cannot get zapped and it's the easiest way to transport the stuff. So very cool. Now, I, I like I said, I wouldn't know if this still works until we actually craft something in here. And now I can let's let's go ahead and take all turn in all these quests first. Um, first, of course, we got the excavator from last time. Useless loot chest. Then we got the big tank here. Did I get something else? Ooh, yes. I didn't know. I get an item reward magma block. I wonder if that is enough to put underneath this as a heat source. We're getting a function even a little buff, a heat source, lava, fire, or magma. Ooh, I think I like that better than instead of having the open flame. And of course, it ate my... Of course, it ate my... My reinforced stone, right? Um... I don't need anything underneath there, so let's put this block here. Yeah, it's heating up. Nice! I like that. I like that much better than the open flame. So there we go. It's also no sizzling. Okay, let's open these two, which are going to have great rewards. I may... Ooh, okay. Now I'm going to make a hammer, but I don't need a hammer. <laughs> I got vein miner. Ah, well. Let's put that over here. Okay, so now the next thing is that I need to work on... Okay, this is empty. This is empty right here. So I just need... Now that I can make more treated wood, there we go. There we go. Um, let's just make all of them. It doesn't matter because I'm sure I'm going to need more of it. How much is in here? Okay. This is nice. I like this a lot. Thank you guys so much for reminding me of, hey, use some of the lasers. They're really handy in this pack and you guys are not kidding. Um, I, I never liked the item really lasers, by the way. I, yeah, I shouldn't say that. If you only go one direction, then it's fine. But, like, for multiple things, they're, they're quite a headache. Okay, so we got 36 of these. Bam. And now I can put them around here. And I'm going to need a little bit of steel. All right, so we got the nine water wheels. And now I just need this right here, which... um. Can you believe I forgot again? Hi. Okay, yes. So this is easy. I can make this now because I got the aluminum, I got the steel. So let me craft this up. And I'm also going to prepare the area for the water wheel so we can set this up. A little bit of crafting later and I got everything together. I smelted the aluminum and made these high voltage coils over here. So now we have our three dynamos and I'm also making a power cell. I was looking through the... The, the available things, and there is no capacitor from immersive engineering. That's not here. I also, when I typed an energy of some sort, I can't find anything here. Um, 
Is there a cube? No. What's the one called from... From uh, Thermal Foundation? There's definitely a redstone. Yeah, that one is not there either. So I don't know if this is really the only one that is available. And this is the power cells from RF Tools Power. Which, by the way, look different. So I am not sure if this is still the ones with the card or what's going on. Um, there is no card here. Let's see here real quick. You know that, that red card that you can connect them together? Yeah, there is none here. I don't see... Uh, two pages? No. Yeah, I don't see the, the regular cubes. Nothing. So... This is the only one I can figure out to do here. I just wanted some little bit of power storage. It has 250,000 RF, and it says it can be combined with other spells to form a big multi-block. So we're going to go ahead and make that one as well. And I did quite a bit of digging outside because I, I want to, of course, optimize these, right? I want to get the most power out of them, which default is 80 RF a tick. Um, that's the most you can get out of them, and I gave myself a lot of room around it. I think too much, but we'll we'll play around with this. I can always put in a wall or two on each side. That's why I left it open, but I wanted this to be underground. I don't want this to be above ground. Again, we're trying to get into big automation here instead of, um, you know, making everything pretty. I don't want it ugly, but if I can hide some things away, I'm going to go for it. I've been wrecking my brain around this, and then I dug through... Um, my screenshots and so on, I couldn't find my old water wheel optimized setup and stuff. And I saw some other water wheel setups with only three source blocks, but it didn't make any sense to me. Because one of them showed the water being pushed that way over it. And then another one back here pushed into the wheel. No, out of the wheel. And that act, it looks like they're, they're countering each other. That makes no sense to me. So um, I tore out all the inner walls because I want to pull all these across here. So I'm Because I'm going to show you guys one of these setups and then I'm going to replicate them. But I don't want to have to figure out the placement of these blocks again. So on top of this here, there's going to be water source blocks pushing into the wheel. And on top of or next to this one here, pushing over into the wheel right here. Right, and then the water will fall down right here, and it needs to be pushed over. It needs to fall onto this and then over that way, right? So I'm going to put another one here so it cannot fall over that way. And then I remember even having three water source blocks there, but I don't think I need those. I might put them anyway, it, it can't hurt. And then in the very end over here... I'm trying to remember this, guys. I think there was another one here. Or here. Can I even place a block here? Right there. So it's pushing it that way. That is not the way I want it. Okay, let's see if I put this right there so it cannot push this way. And now place it so it's flowing out this way if this is going to spin that way. Yes, it is. Okay, so that is... So my, my, my old screenshot is still working the way I'm, I'm thinking it. So three water source blocks pushing into the wheel. Three water source blocks pushing over the wheel, falling down, cascading over here. So it, it, Because if you don't put this block here, it will just fall straight down and then run over. And it will not push it, I guess, in this block space. Yeah, this one right here against it, right? And then three more down there. So now I guess the easiest way to actually fill this, um, like I said, I'm going to push these all the way over. So I do not need to remember this. All right, just getting another chisel here because I am going to break this one here any second. Um, the leadstone energy duct, by the way, I have on me because if I don't put these here, if I want to use the wires, the water that I'm going to have here running this way just runs over. Um, so, and I cannot go through the block without doing that weird new immersive engineering thing. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. So I just made a couple more of these, eight actually more, and I still have 15 now left, so I can place these. So now all of this is pulled over, and I guess the easiest way to do this now is just do the bottom layer first. So let's just close this off so nothing can run out. 
so we're gonna have this run over so i'm gonna place like i said three water source blocks down here and it's already flowing this way and then we're gonna have i need to build up to up here nothing is gonna be down here so i can light this up and let's just get this um right there and let's fill this in um how am i gonna get to the one back there now dang it no actually it's up here yes okay so let's just come up here i did make scaffolding but I'm, I'm not sure why they thought it was a good idea to make all scaffolding useless it's kind of annoying um i can fill this to there and here and then have the three water source blocks here and then it's probably gonna try to wash me off and i don't have my sink So let's come here so it cannot wash me off. Okay, so there's one there. I was gonna say, you better not wash me off. One there. And one here. And now I can close this off. Is it getting night again? Or is it just... Yeah, it is. Okay. I gotta sleep. You guys know me and creepers. We don't get along anymore. <laughs> so I want to make sure they cannot sneak up on me and mess all of this up now. Okay, and then I guess the rest here is just going to be... This is all done. So now I can... Fill this in all the way. And like I said, I'm only going to show you guys one because, well... The other ones are the same way and it takes quite some time for me to set this up. I knew it. A son of a gun. I hate when it chiseled. Why can't you just come in my inventory? Why are you gonna explode all over? Come on. Alright, so this is done. One, two, three. And there we go. So now I need... This one is done. And now I'm gonna place the water against this one. And now we should really see this spinning up. Yeah, you guys see that now it's going 90 miles an hour. And like I said, down there it hits it and flows over that way. So I think this is the the most efficient or the most power we can get out of it. And like I said, some people show this water here being pulled out this way. Which makes no sense because if I remove all the other water and set this one to go flow this way, the wheel actually spins this way. Right? I tried that. So... Alright, so this is the set I'm going with, and it's going to be, I, I think it's going to be 88 RF a tick, which is nice. And I'm going to duplicate that over to the other two. So I actually just found out that, I, I forgot to place this leadstone flux duct over there, right? So I placed it afterwards, and I noticed that none of the water filled in when I broke these. You guys see that? So, my thing here is that I think I'm going to just um use the connectors because it's much easier to run this you know it costs me less so i cannot come down one more here but i think i can stand over here yes there we go you guys see and just jump on the water wheel bam and then i can connect this from there and put a post up here hammer that Hang a relay and connect it. So there we go. Now the water doesn't flow over, which is fine by me. And of course, you cannot place any blocks here or it's going to break the wire, right? So I want this to be as easy as possible. Okay, so this is done. I can close this off as well. So now I got all of these three. And I do want it to go on the top of the building. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that yet. I might have to run another one in between. But let's just see. I want it to come in over here. Um, how about right there? Yeah, let's use this one. Oh, he gave me back. Nice. Um, where is this thing here? Okay. So we're going to put this in here. And then it says with a wrench. Okay, don't tell me I need to actually make the... Did I make a crescent hammer? I did. Can I use you? 
Okay, so what does this mean here? Side input, side output. All right, so they look very different than what they did before. And I'm not sure yet what we're going to put here yet, but now I'm going to connect it on the outside as well. And I just don't think that this is going to reach. I think this is too far. Yeah, it is. So, oh boy. Um... Oh man, how am I gonna do this? Do, do, do. I can I gotta kinda put something out here. Right, let's do the middle one which is right underneath here. Okay, let's try this. Can I put a relay right here? I think that should What the hell was that just now? Why did I just sink? I don't know. That was weird. Okay, so... Let's run you. Good. So that works. And the last one. I'm, I'm excited. We're finally gonna get some power in the house that I don't need to feed charcoal. And I guess now I need to come all the way up here. Let's put this, uh, we gotta wrench the thing first. Butterflies everywhere. Your knuckleheads get stuck in there. Nice. Um, hmm. I'm gonna wrench this first. So that's input. So let's put you. And then from there to there. And it should be... This is the dumbest scaffolding ever. It breaks quickly, yes. But still, I, I... It's not why I want scaffolding. Okay, let's check if we're getting power up there. And then the first thing, of course, we're going to connect is the... Um, plate press, metal press. It is getting power. It shows input-output. 100 RF a tick. Um, yeah, that's not what I wanted. Because I'm making at least 240 RF a tick now. So does that mean if I make another one and connect it next to it, it's going to be 200? I should have everything for that one now. There we go. And I hook that up. It does say they're multi-block machines, so... It shows input output 200 RF a tick now. Very nice. So that is, I'm, I'm just going to stick with two now. I mean, if I make 40 more right now at this moment, that's fine. Now, the thing is, like I said, I think I want to use the RF tools thing um, to connect power. What is the laser? Um, what does it say about the max power it can transfer? In order 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. So the smallest one can do a thousand RF a tick, which is nice. And the only time it loses power, I think there is a little bit of a drain there. But the wires also have a little bit of a drain. The energy loss is a bit higher every tier, interconnecting different tiers as possible. However, the lowest cap and highest loss of the two radius connected. What is it? Where's the exact number for the loss? And I thought it only loses at a power connector, so it will only lose at this one here. But if I go from there to this to that and so on and so on, if I just chain it, I think I only lose power one time here. So I'm, I'm just going to make one here and test it out. It's quite cheap to make. It's not bad at all. Uh, it just costs. A, I might make extras actually right now just so I have them. What? Oh, I just got these in the wrong place. I'm like, hey, I made a bunch of these today. So that we got 16, which is nice. That should last me quite some time. And I don't need to worry about getting zapped and whatnot. So let's see if we can get this to work. And then I'm going to figure out a way on how to get it down into the um, workshop area downstairs. So right now, let's just see if it actually works. In both directions, hold a compass. So let's go and do that again. I don't want to. I know it's set to only output, but I still like it. It's better. 
out of adjacent blocks. And this one I'm going to leave at both directions so it can pass through, right? So now there is no way for me to really know if this is going to work until I use some power of this. Or you know what? Maybe I can just break it. Oh, ooh, I'm glad I got this back. All right, let's form it again. And it should be out of power. Yes, and it's filling. All right, so very nice. So this works, which is cool. Now we got free power. I don't need to worry about that coal thingy down there anymore. And I'm going to leave this open for right now. I don't know what I want to cover this with yet. Um, there might be a building or something I want to put on top of this or something like that, right? I, I mean, there's lots of room out there. Um, now let's check real quick. Did we complete any quests from this whole spiel here? Okay, just one. That's this one, and we get an amazing loot chest. Now, what's the next thing? Um, don't care, don't care. So, Crusher. This is definitely, I want to get to the Crusher today. So, I'm going to get all these parts together. Let's open this box. Wow. Okay. A little late there, Baba. I already have enough. <laughs> Great. Now we get a display stand for nothing. Is there any other use for this? No. Well, of course, I can display things. Look how cool. Yay. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just messing around here. All right, guys. Let me get everything together for the crusher. I made myself this crusher projector here. Um, and then also completed a quest. And I got all the parts ready besides the hoppers here. We're going to do those in a second. But I wanted this. I really like this projector. Because that way you don't need to flip through the book over and over. And in case you've never used it, you just... Get the page up that you want to build, like here the crusher, and then you just put that with the projector together and then take it out on the right hand side and then it's set to this, you guys see your crusher. And then when you come to where you want to place it, it gives you this holographic outline here. It starts on the bottom, once you have that, it goes to the next level, the next level. And I just prepared it because it's just placing blocks to save a little bit of time. And I just wanted to show you guys how bananas... The recipe is for hoppers, okay? It To make these nine hoppers, it's 72 copper ingots and 72 iron ingots, plus 72 logs and nine chests um, to make this stuff here, right? Um, so it's it's very pricey to make a hopper, yeah, I have to say. But we have to go through with it because this is going to be all worth it for making... Wait a second, I still need something else. I totally forgot. This is not the end. Don't tell me I need to... Oh, yeah. And now I need five <laughs> plates around this. So that's going to be another 45 iron. So I have to make more. I have stood here. I broke four of these cranks today already. Because I keep forgetting. Um, I just, you know, watch videos or whatever. And just sit here and hold down the right mouse button. <laughs> but anyway, let me make those 45 plates real quick. And then we got the hopper so we can hook this up. There we go, just got the last one. I made a blaze hopper, they're much cheaper, right? Just five blaze rods here. So I can just put the 45 ingots in here and they one by one get dispensed here. And now we can finally make these nine hoppers here. It's bananas how expensive a hopper is in this pack. But it's okay. Hopefully we don't need to make too many of them. Or I should say, it's actually not too bad once you just have, you know, lots of ore coming in and Easy or doubling, which we're going to reach right now, which is nice. No more hand cranking that stuff downstairs. And let's go ahead and form this one. Bam. Oh, by the way, did this, this quest complete? Yes. Okay. I was worried. What are we getting for this? A lubricant can. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what this is used for, the lubricant can, but we'll figure it out soon. Okay, and now when I take this out of my hand, there we go, now it's gone. So now this is output, input is on the top, and power is up here. Okay, so we're going to have to put this guy uh, right there, and I should be able to tap right into here, from there to there. Yep, it's filling power. Very nice. So now we have um, ore doubling. Let's go ahead and set this up a little bit more. Um, I actually never knew that you can pipe items into it. I always thought that you need to throw them in there until Nonsanity set up our um, 
Crusher in the Savtex uh, live streaming series that we did. And let's just take a regular chest. That's good enough. And I just want to see. Let's take. Um, let's just take a stack of iron with us. Always need iron. And let's see if this works. So we're going to put the output right here. By the way, I chose it to put it here in the middle because I don't know what else I would put in the middle otherwise, right? I think this is a really good spot for it. And if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to just put this on here. Yes, it works. Perfect. So now I don't need to toss this in. Nothing. And we're ore doubling. Guaranteed ore doubling. And I don't need to click on any hand cranks. Nothing. That is really nice. Very happy about this here. So let's go ahead and claim this. We got everything else. And let's open this one here. Yeah. What? 64 cup. That is such a slap in the face. <laughs> I mean, seriously? Okay, cool. So, um, just want to look ahead here. I think we're pretty much done for today. We got a lot done. But, um, by the way, is there... Uh, what is this from? Immersive Petroleum Usage. I'm not sure what this is for. I know lubricant is needed for the... Um, the oil jack to make it more efficient and whatnot. But that's about it. So, now what's the next steps that are waiting us here? The drill. Oh, I can make a drill. Eh, I'm not interested in that right now. I need more automation, more power and everything. So can we start on this one as well? Covered cable. Tree juice. So where is all that from? That should be from here. But I don't see any of these being available. Right? No. So we might have to come down here to these ones. But I'm going to see what what next steps we're going to do. I'm going to process a lot of uh, materials and go back to mining and so on. So um, we should have everything we need next time. And figure out where this is. Tree juice. It's got to be. This is all This is all tech reborn. It's got to be one of these here. Cobble works. Skeleton meat. Plastic requires machina. Okay, so w I'm guessing we have to keep going here. Let's see here. What are the names of these mixer? And so on. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll figure out where to go from here and all tips and tricks. I always read them. You guys have been helping me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.